Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca. I'm a nurse here at UWorld, and this week we're covering neuro questions. Let's get started. So the nurse has attended a staff education program about seizure precautions, which the following statements by the nurse would indicate a correct understanding of the program. Select all that apply. Pause the video and drop your answer in the chat. So the correct answers here were options one, two, and four. Tonic-clonic seizures typically begin with loss of consciousness followed by muscle tensing and jerking of the extremities. Once the extremities stop jerking and the client is at rest, the client may slowly regain consciousness and experience muscle weakness, fatigue, and amnesia related to the seizure. To promote client safety, the nurse should implement seizure precautions, which include one, ensuring their suction equipment to clear secretions and maintain airway patency after the seizure subsides, option two, documenting the duration of the seizure and observed behaviors because seizures lasting greater than five minutes may indicate status epilepticus, which is a medical emergency, and then option four, activating the call light to request help. Our incorrect options are option three, so the client should be placed in a sideline position with the head of the bed flat, not elevated to reduce the risk of the tongue including the airway. And then option five, the nurse should never place anything in the mouth of the client experiencing a seizure because clients may clench the jaw involuntarily. So if there's an object in there like a tongue blade that can break or dislodge, choking the client or damaging the teeth. So again, our correct answer options here are options one, two, and four. Don't forget to click the link in our bio.